I really feel that I'm a storyteller. It's nearly like being a, doing a comic strip on the lives of saints or something. I love the stories. I, I, I love to get involved in, in really reading all about. I don't do this without first really studying very well whatever the subject matter is and knowing what is going on. The great thing was that I was then asked to come and speak and see whether they, they would make the windows. And the great thing was to be able to talk with the architect before he was, when he was still designing and to looking at it and said, I think the windows are too small. I think they should be somewhat bigger. And he listened, which was wonderful. The, you know, the thing with stained glass windows is even if you don't see what it represents, it should have the right impact in light and color. So you hope that's you hope to touch somebody. You hope to tell really what your own feelings are and be able to convey that. And sometimes it conveys maybe even more. You never know. Because whatever you're making, it's always a dialogue. What you're making is telling you where it wants to go. So you should also be open to that and not so close-minded and intent on the perfection of things that you somehow sacrifice some of the really live input that to me is, well, the, the music and the air or the Holy Spirit or whatever you want to call it. When I have an exhibition like that, I'm amazed at how much I've done in my life. And people ask a lot, they said, well, what is your favorite work? I said, well, it's what you're doing which is important. Anyways, everybody always asks me, why don't you write your memoirs? I say, oh, no, not yet. I'm too busy living.